Good morning. So we are actually headed to church. Um, all I did was wake up this morning and get ready for church. It's only going to be like an hour. Um, and so then once I get home, I will edit my video and watch the premiere with you guys. Just got home from church. I'm going to eat. We have like leftover salad from last night. So I'm going to eat some of that because I'm actually really hungry. I'm probably going to make more coffee and then I'm going to sit outside and edit my video from yesterday. I also do need to get my steps in today, so I'll probably have to take a walk later on. I wanna finish my book today as well. Alan made this really yummy dressing yesterday, so I'm gonna pour some of that on here. Leftovers. two hours it's four o'clock and on Sundays I have reading sprints from two to four um, so the first hour I was reading more of Survivor um, but I ended up having to stop at page 140 um, and I just I, I don't think I'm going to finish this book because it is absolutely disgusting and I don't want to keep reading about the things that are happening in it um, it was pretty thrilling and fast-paced, but it definitely was bothering me. And so it was just like putting me in a really bad space. Um, I will probably talk more about it later, but for now, I then started Fractured Mind. I got to 25%. I've been listening to it and I was working on my puzzle during it. It was going really, really well. I'm actually getting like for this only being June 4th and I've only worked on it, I think two days. I feel like I'm doing really well with my puzzle. For dinner, uh, Alvin is going to be grilling a fresh salmon, which is super exciting because I love salmon and I love grilled food. So I feel like grilled salmon is gonna be delicious. I'm going to make um, something called a green goddess salad, which is actually popular from TikTok. I will link the recipe down below for you guys. Um, I've made it actually two or three times now and I've made it like four other people and everyone has always loved it. I'm gonna go ahead and start making it because um, I have to chop up like the cabbage and make a dressing and stuff. And then that way it can kind of like marinate and meld for the next few hours until we actually grill. So I'm gonna work on that next. I haven't decided yet if I am taking my free day for my step pet today. I don't really feel like going out and like walking and getting sweaty and stuff, but then that means that I, I would have to like walk the whole rest of the week because the week starts on Saturdays. And so I would definitely have to walk Monday through Friday. So that's kind of like a big sacrifice to do my free day at the beginning of the week. And I wanted to go into town tomorrow to do a power day, but I do have to take Graham to the vet. So I might have to do my power day like early in the morning. He has to go to the vet at 10. And so I'm wondering if I should wake up early and walk to town. I gotta look up and see when the coffee shops open. So Pronto actually does open at eight o'clock. I think if I go in and come right back, if I just get coffee, I think that that takes an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes like total. So I could wake up early and do that first and then take Graham to the vet, or not vet, take Graham to the groomer. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. I don't know if I wanna wake up early though. <laughs>
Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in this. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. The engine glows, and I guess you always seem to know. Hello, Ramona. I push back the serious feeling, the ends unknown, to get back the life I used to. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in this. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. just got out of the bath and I finished a book and I'm like 68% I think into a fractured mind and I got so much of my puzzle done but I want to make a snack sorry that's pretty bright um I am like restarting keto because that's what I used to do when I was skinny actually I got out all my old shorts today and um, I was just like quick trying on um, some older pairs and I tried on this pair back from maybe three or four years ago when I was really skinny and um, it literally it stopped right here <laughs> maybe I'll show you guys one day maybe I'm going to make a keto mug cake i think i'll probably make one for me and alvin and then i think i'm gonna ask him if he wants to watch ozark or maybe i'll just watch tiktok i'm not sure but i think i'm gonna try and go to bed a little bit earlier because i do want to wake up and take my walk in the morning before i get graham groomed because i've totally forgot that his grooming is tomorrow that's at 10 which means that i would have to wake up and like start walking at like eight. When does the sun rise? I don't know these things. Oh, 5.56 AM, yeah, I'm not waking up that early. Um, 
Hello. Do you want a mug cake? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna look up one of my old recipes of mug cakes from my main YouTube channel. And then do you wanna watch Ozark or like TikTok or something? Um, yes. Okay. Time to you go to work tomorrow. Hey. Cool, can you wake me up? Yeah, why? Cause I, I was planning on walking into town tomorrow to like get coffee and get my power day, but then I forgot that I have Graham's grooming at 10. Oh, I'll say. So. So I wanted to um, get my walk in before I take him to the grooming. And I think it takes like an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes. So I need to like be leaving at eight. Ooh, I forgot we had like keto chocolate banana oatmeal. Mm. Okay, so ke keto brownie 90 second mug cake. This is my own recipe. Okay, butter, almond flour, cocoa powder, your sweetener, full fat Greek yogurt, an egg, vanilla extract, baking powder, lily chocolate chips. Got it. All right, two tablespoons of melted butter. All right, melted butter. Four tablespoons of almond flour. Three, four. Okay. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Tablespoon of your sweetener. I'm doing monk fruit. One tablespoon of Greek yogurt. I just have this vanilla stevia one that I got from Aldi. A quarter teaspoon baking powder. Splash vanilla extract. This is my homemade Vanilla. Now we're gonna whisk it up really well. And then you would put Lily's chocolate chips, but I just have these 85% very dark ones, so we're gonna do a tablespoon of those. Microwave for like a minute and 30 or until it's done. When it's done, it looks like this. It literally looks like a cake. You can always top it with peanut butter, whipped cream, anything like that. The actual macros for it, for the whole entire cake, 475 calories, 43.6 grams of fat, 15.4 grams of protein, and 6.3 grams of net carbs. And this is on my main channel. I can link it down below, this recipe, but I have tons of keto recipes over there. It's literally like, a brownie. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to eat my brownie after it cools off. It is 1036. Alvin just went to lay down and so I think I'm gonna lay down too because I need to be going to bed early so I can wake up and take my walk early in the morning because I am not a morning person just because I really like sleep but I also like having a schedule and getting my plans completed. And I know that if I don't walk in the morning, it's gonna be way too hot after I pick up Graham from grooming, so. But I did wanna update you guys on all of my reading today. So I had a really hard time when I got to the halfway point when I was reading Survivor. And that is because this book is extremely disturbing and I honestly would not recommend it to anybody because of just how absolutely vile and disgusting it is. If you want to reach out to me and ask me about like the things that made it that way, I can definitely let you know, but I don't really want to put that like on here, especially if like someone would accidentally stumble onto that because it's it's really bad. I honestly had to take a break from it. I was planning on DNFing it and just like not having anything to do with the rest of the book. But I took a break and I um, listened to a bunch of A Fractured Mind while I was building my puzzle, um, which has just been okay. It's very just information dumpy and it's kind of very sporadic because of it's just a bunch of personalities taking over constantly. Um, I did learn a lot about 
um, this guy's trauma and like how that brought out all of the different personalities, but it's not something that I'm like extremely loving. Um, it was just, you know, good to be listening to it while I was building my puzzle. I did go back then and I finished Survivor, but I kind of skim read it because I was afraid of like a lot more graphic things happening. I would say that most of the really bad things happen in the first half of the book um, and then the second half of the book is just kind of like tying all the pieces together but I didn't think the book was that amazing in general um, and then obviously like my own personal experience reading it was it just left a really bad taste in my mouth because I am now like picturing that and thinking about things that I never thought I would picture or think about in my head and it's really bad. That is definitely the most disturbing book I have ever read in my life. Um, I do not recommend it. I think that if you are planning on reading it, that maybe you should do more research into it because I actually didn't do research into it. And even when I heard people raving about it, I just heard the raving part. I didn't hear any specifics about it, um, but I think it's very important um, for that specific book. Tomorrow when I'm walking, I'm probably going to finish the rest of A Fractured Mine, or I might start Pet Cemetery, but I might just go ahead and get A Fractured Mine out of the way and done. And then I also want to read um, The Quiet Ones, which is our buddy read for Patreon. Um, this is a pretty short book also. It's like 244 pages. So when I'm at home later in the afternoon, probably when I'm done with editing and stuff, then I will probably read some of this um, and then I will be listening to my audiobooks. And then on Tuesday, I'm planning on doing like a shopping day. So I'll probably be listening to audiobooks that day as well. And Wednesday, I might not get any reading in because I'm gonna be baking in the morning probably like blasting music and then my brother is coming over to eat the cupcakes that I'm baking. So my plan though is to like have all of my reading to zero books finished by like Thursday or Friday which I am really excited about. So I am almost done. I literally just have well I have I guess maybe two one third left of a fractured mine and then I have the quiet ones and pet cemetery so I have two and a half books left and then I finally get to read the beautiful amazing books on my shelf that I just got for my birthday which I might start with 19 minutes I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to start with I guess it just depends on what day I finish reading all of these books because I know that next week I will be visiting my dad so I will be driving and I can listen probably to like a you know an audiobook and get a book done just on my drive but then I probably won't be reading a lot while I'm like visiting my dad and stuff oh I also ordered a new puzzle because I'm almost done with that one if you can see yes and oh thanks a lot Graham for opening up the door so we can hear the dryer that was great I ordered a puzzle off of Amazon and I think it's coming on Wednesday I had a hard time figuring out which one I wanted to do but I saw this coffee one and I am like obviously obsessed with coffee and I love this like vintage look to it so like how cute is obviously I'll be busy Wednesday and so I will probably start building it on Thursday and I'm so excited. All right, Graham, you want to say goodnight? Say goodnight. Say bye-bye. See you tomorrow.